Okay. Here we go. Hundreds of German tanks are about to confront the Russians on a country whose name translates into the borderlands, into the frontier. Now, any student of history knows that that's probably not a good thing. And I probably should repeat what I just said. Hundreds of German tanks are about to storm the frontier and engage the Russians. Hundreds of tanks delivered by NATO, an organization whose sole purpose is to contain the Russians, okay, are about to send hundreds of German tanks to the frontier to fight the Russians. Do you think that's going to galvanize millions of Okay, a couple things here, y'all. If you don't know, some some people are new to my channel, um, so I do have to repeat things here and there because there's just been so much shown to the brethren throughout the years, the last five years. It's just crazy, and so many things are coming true right now. Um, now, our sister Amanda and myself both have had uh, dreams of German shepherds, and the one that I had, it was a rapture dream, and it was my dog Shane that I had when I was a little girl and actually Shane I believe is a German name also so I believe this is huge you guys a huge marker for well rapture time now I don't know how long we got but um, also where NATO is helping right now big time with this war I believe that is um, well giving permission and it's been so it's been said so many times that this is going to escalate into nuclear where NATO is concerned where these tanks are concerned as a matter of fa a matter of fact I'm sorry y'all I'm so tired uh, they are called leopard tanks from Germany and um, our sister Amanda she had had a dream about me she had a couple dreams about me before she met me about oh, I don't know about five and a half six years ago and um, well the reason being is because I was to teach her about the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and exactly how we are saved. And it has nothing to do with law, okay? Uh, it has to do with faith, believing in, in the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, for your sin atonement, your propitiation. Um, and she had, like I said, she had had dreams about me. And, you know, the Lord was telling her, listen to her. And... At the end of the dream, I'll say in the beginning of the dream, it was rapture, rapture time. This dream kind of went backwards. Uh, so you may know uh, part of my gifting is dream interpretation, especially where heart issues are concerned and also where um, law and grace is concerned. I can tell when somebody's in law a mile away and they have not really received the free gift of salvation that the Lord has offered to us uh, simply by believing, faithing in him. Um, so anyways, yes, this German situation here and these tanks called leopard tanks and in that dream, at the end of that dream that she had about me, uh, it was a rapture dream because uh, Jesus told her, come on, let's go. It's time to go in the beginning of it. But he took her backwards and showed her the journey she was going to go through uh, to some extent, extent where uh, law and grace was concerned and where I was concerned in her life. And, well, at the end of that dream, she was running out the back door and she saw a leopard there. And the leopard had on a pink tutu. Now, in your dreams, pink is the color of peace. And uh, we know peace, peace, but there will be no peace, and then there is sudden destru destruction. So here we have a leopard, and I never could understand the last part of that dream, and I'm thinking, leopards, leopard tanks. I'm going, wow. There is so much going on in this particular situation right now. Belarus, I've done videos on that. Uh, a lot's going on over there. Uh, just so much, y'all. But anyways, let's take a listen. And also, NATO giving permission. Here we go. ...of Russians for Patriotic War 
Does this sound like Operation Barbarossa 2.0 to you? All right, one more thing. The word patriot is being used a lot here lately. And there was another sister that had a dream. And it was a rapture dream. And she said that she was in a car and... Uh, on the right, on her right leg, she saw like a patriotic sign is what she told me. And it, it was just known to her it was patriotic, okay? So I don't know. <laughs> Again, there is so much going on and oh my goodness, y'all, it's so time to go. Let's listen. Only this time with nuclear weapons? This is the biggest story of the year so far. And I guarantee you, it's not going to get any media attention whatsoever, or very, very little. This doomsday clock, this cute little rhetorical device that they use to measure how close we are to existential crises, is going to get more attention than Germany about to fight the Russians. Now, I know what you're saying. Nate, Nate, Germany's not fighting the Russians. Germany... them to are the ones that are going to service those tanks they're the ones that are going to inspect and likely train ukrainians to use those tanks all the russians are going to see is the optics they're going to see german tanks coming towards them and that is going to conjure up memories of the 27 million people who died whether you think it's all just an exaggerated thing the nizis and uh, the Banderites and the whatever else stuff. I'm not going to get into the Ukrainian nationalist stuff that's going on and, you know, what the Russians perceive it to be. It doesn't matter what you perceive it to be. You need to understand that this is going to be the end result. This is World War Three. I need to say again, because there's some people who think I'm being alarmist or sensational. <laughs> They're debating right now about whether to raise the debt ceiling, or to watch the whole house of cards collapse. I mean, that wasn't even a thing in World War II. It's a thing now. This World War III stuff is just but one of the many crises we face, which is why the doomsday clock authors, the International Bulletin for Atomic Scientists, are being way too optimistic with this 90-second business. I mean, you're telling me that in 2020, the doomsday clock was 100 seconds to midnight, and now it's only 90 seconds to midnight? What? It's almost like they're doing damage control. It's almost like they're trying to keep people calm, because if they were to say it's one minute to midnight, like, what are they saving one minute for? I mean, this is one minute to midnight. On the same day, they release this new thing, which has been way overhyped in the media. It's cute, but it, it really, it's not like the... It's a de facto metric, I guess, in most people's eyes for how close we are to Armageddon, but it's not like an empirical, it's not rooted in any sort of science mm -hmm. at all. It's just an arbitrary number assigned by some experts. We've been saying this forever. Where's my recognition? No, no I don't need recognition. It's the last thing I want is recognition. But this, the things that have transpired just in 2022 alone, should have moved this clock well within a minute. I mean, the, the Sarmat, the Belgorod, the Poseidon nukes, the uh, hypersonic missiles, the the nuclear exercises, the lack of the New START uh, treaty being honored at all anymore. I mean, come on. I mean, this is just ridiculous. 90 seconds? It's almost like they're just trying to keep people calm. This is bad, guys. This is really, really bad. Every so often, as we're narrating and foretelling this stuff as it happens, because it doesn't take a Nostradamus to understand what's coming next. You just have to pay attention to the news. No, you just have to pay attention to the Bible, the Word of God. Uh, there's so much going on right now about men will become lovers of men and of themselves, and uh, the earthquakes in diverse places and oh my goodness it's just unbelievable uh everything that's happening right now in this world uh, it is so time y'all it is so getting there 
uh, so many things that I have pinpointed in the brothers and the sisters dreams to be um, absolutely from the Ho Holy Spirit and also uh, something that we really be need to be looking at at the time of our departure and I'm gonna tell you right now Taiwan Japan China Turkey Iran uh, oh goodness Ukraine uh, Russia let's see the EAU UK, um, the United States, everything that's going on here. All of those things. And Israel. Everything that is going on right now, our brothers and our sisters have dreamt of. Okay, including myself. I was told that uh, Russia was my life insurance policy, meaning that when something happens, that it's time to go. And uh, that was after my mom had passed in 2013, January 6th. Um, yeah, I had that dream. And then also, oh, I've had so many dreams, y'all. We're getting ready to go. We are so getting ready to go. But I just wanted to share this with you. And um, yeah, all these things are happening right now. All of them. It's just incredible what's going on. Anyways, y'all have a beautiful and blessed night. Look up. We are right there, y'all. Right there. God bless you. Amen. And amen.